Hi, my dear Astro family. I hope you've had a great week. And I'm here today to announce proudly that I have published my very first book. And its title is Vocational Astrology Illuminating the Path to Career Success. One of the reasons why I have wanted to put together a book about is because we spend 40% of our lives at work. And it is more than enough to be unhappy. Um, I spent 21 years in the corporate world, and don't get me wrong, I loved it, but it has never been my passion. I knew I wanted to help people to find their purpose with the help of the stars. I spent uh, 20 years studying astrology with plenty of teachers. I spent a fortune to get to where I am today, and I'm not regretting a single penny. I am still very grateful to my very first teacher who set me up on this path. Her name is Marta Odrobina, and she's a kinesiologist, tarot reader, and she also put together her unique numerology system that is not used anywhere else in the world. Plenty of people have asked me already whether there is a printed version, and unfortunately not yet. I will contact some publishers in case they want to publish it, but we will see what their reply is going to be. At the moment, it is in an e-format and it is also available on Amazon. You might be interested what the book includes and why this book is special, as I know there are loads of materials out there about vocational astrology. What makes my book unique is that I tried putting together the 38 possible midheaven and ascendant combination in one book that 99% of the population have. It is important as both of them are related to the public persona, but a little bit in a different way. Midheaven can be something what people assume about us. And the ascendant is who we became by all the influences we have had in our lives. And therefore it became a mask on our face. The ascendant is also so much to do with the approach we should have if we want to achieve the God's plan with us. And the God's plan is the midheaven sign, actually. Midheaven is the highest point of the chart, and therefore it shows the ways we can shine if we embrace those qualities. And these are the positions which I wanted to focus the book on so that you can make the most out of your life. You, uh, I give you a very quick example. You might have a Leo Midheaven who wants to be admired, appraised, clapped for, looked up to, as well as it wants to be on a central stage. But a Scorpio rising sign, for instance, with it, it will have a trouble to embrace those Leo qualities because Scorpio is extremely hidden. And um, the reason why it is very important to look at your rising sign when you are choosing a career path is because the rising sign is a decision making point in the chart. Therefore, if Scorpio doesn't want to be shining, then it's not going to be choosing that type of position. So it's important to embrace that. But apart from this, I will explain the following topics also in the book. So we will be looking at the different signs uh, on the midheaven. We're going to be looking at the different elements, modalities. I'm going to be explaining what each modality as well as elements are responsible for. <clears throat> what happens if a planet actually has an aspect to your midheaven? We are going to be looking at the ruler of uh, your midheaven and where it is placed. We will also talk about the sun and its aspect as it shows why we were born and what should be the final destination of our life be. We will also talk about the moon placement as it shows how we can make our soul happy. And very briefly, we will be looking at the nodal placements as well because they are connected to our cosmic karmic journey. There will be also description to Chiron placement in the chart and its aspect as if we can do what he did, then we will be successful. Chiron had an accident and uh, he was never able to heal himself, but he got the power to heal others. So its placement for me shows the ways how we can overcome our insecurities and make it our strongest asset in this incarnation. So altogether, this book should help you figure out a great career choice for yourself. This book is suited for those who have a little knowledge only about astrology, as well as to advance astrologers who want to have a different approach to their chart reading skills. 
I hope you will love reading it as much as I have. I loved putting it together. And also keep a, a close eye on my next book that is going to be an aspect cookbook. I will be describing a very detailed explanation of all possible aspects of planets, including the four major asteroids also. So if you are interested in purchasing this book, then you can go in the description box. The link will be there. Uh, this book is about 202 pages. Uh, I was also honored to kind of get a foreword from Lada, Astro Lada, um, and she had some incredible words to say about me, which I'm extremely grateful for. So I think you are ahead of a good treat. Thank you everyone for your continuous support, and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.